I'm uh, Dean Kariakis. I'm chairman of the Christ Hospital Heart and Vascular Institute in Cincinnati, Ohio, professor of medicine at the University of Cincinnati, and clinical professor of medicine at the Ohio State University as well. Well, this is a open label extension study, which I think was done mainly to document the sustained safety and efficacy of this medication. You know, Laridalcibib was designed for long-term cholesterol, LDL cholesterol reduction. And as such, you really need long-term follow-up to document sustained safety and efficacy. And that's what this provides. Tailing on to a 52-week cardiovascular disease and high-risk study, this adds another 72 weeks. So we now have over two years of, of observation in approximately 1,000 patients. It's a very interesting. This has an 11 kilodalton uh, adnectin, it's a, uh, which has PCSK9 binding affinity that is then fused to human serum albumin to prolong the half-life to 12 to 15 days. So it would be a uh, small molecule type device, but it's a protein, adnectin, which is uh, derived from human fibronectin and then fused with albumin to prolong the half-life. Its small size allows 300 milligrams to be placed into 1.2 mLs. So in the original dose finding trials, we tried 150, 300, 350 milligrams, and 300 had this, uh, 350 had similar LDL suppressing effects, and the volume of injectate is only 1.2 mLs on a monthly basis, not every two weeks. Well, patients were brought into the study from two separate studies, the cardiovascular disease and the high-risk studies after 52 weeks they were either on placebo or they were on laridalcibet. Those on laridalcibet were continued, either dosed at the time of their initial visit or within 28 days. Those on placebo were switched to laridalcibet. So 90% of those patients in the two feeder trials, base trials, came into the OLE, the open label extension trial. Um, of those, it's very interesting. There are uh, 1,496 patients. Uh, of those, 37% uh, were women and more than 20% were minorities. 39% uh, had diabetes. 67% uh, had documented coronary artery disease. And another 24% were defined as very high risk. So you've got 91 plus percent of the patients were either documented coronary disease or very high risk. The findings I think were pretty remarkable. Within four weeks, there was a 60 plus percent reduction in LDL cholesterol that was sustained throughout 72 weeks. In fact, at 72 weeks, it's a 62 percent reduction, relatively. Um, ApoB reduced by 45 percent, and LP little a, lipoprotein A, uh, was reduced by 32% at week 72. But all of these drops occurred very quickly, dramatically within four weeks, and then were sustained through the entirety. 90% of all the patients in this trial, approximately 90% of all the patients, they either achieved the greater than 50% LDL reduction, the target LDL, which was less than 70 for high risk, less than 55 according to the European guidelines for very high risk or documented coronary heart disease or both targets, approximately 90% or more of the patients who enter this trial. You know, this is a uh, remarkably effective, patient-friendly, meaning a small injectate on a monthly basis for only 12 doses a year, doesn't require refrigeration, and frankly, from my own perspective, it has more sustained suppression of LDL than other agents where you may see greater between-dose fluctuations in LDL levels, more of what we call a saw-tooth pattern. This 
knocks down the LDL and stays down, and it gives you the benefit in ApoB and even LP little a. Injection site reactions as a function of the total number of injections was only 0.6%, and 1.3% of the subjects stopped the drug due to some adverse reaction, which in almost all cases are mild to moderate. In fact, not a single serious adverse event could be attributed to the study drug. Well, you know, I'm an interventional cardiologist, and for me, I can connect the dots. I think you've suppressed lipid levels to this extent, that there's gonna be clinical benefit attributed to that. But I think the answer to your question is a longer term clinical outcomes trial. And I think those are gonna be in the works. This is a dramatic reduction in fact, amazing are people that were stand intolerant, their uh, magnitude of reduction in LDL was dramatic with this. So I think this is gonna help a lot of people, but I think we await larger scale uh, cardiovascular outcomes trials, which are, I think, on the horizon.